walk through this kitchen. So we, we go to the wall. Yes, and that's coming down too. We've got room, we can expand. Okay, that's coming down. Island's going to go here. 16-inch island, it's going to have the sink and the dishwasher in it. And the cool thing about this house, like you shared with us earlier, Brandon, is an above grade house. We're not busting concrete out. We just go underneath it, pop a hole. That's it's, a win. That's a huge win. And think about that. It saves time. It saves and time and money, right? Your contractor, you sit there busting it out. And he's got to re reseal it up. But that's all kind of energy. We just got to go in there and do it quick. That's why we kind of decided let's move it over here and sit in front of this window. So walk us through the kitchen like this side of the house. We have, we, we don't like this, but we don't really. It's the laundry room. It's the laundry room. We don't want it outside. Right. Okay. So we're taking the window away. Yeah, window will go because it just kept messing with our design. Mm -hmm. yeah. The range has to be here. Right. Focal point, you're going to see it right when you walk in. It's going to be centered with the island. It'll be beautiful. Okay. So we'll have um, uppers and lowers on either side of the range. Okay. Then we're going to have our fridge space, a giant pantry. So the pantry is going on the end. But that's one thing about this kitchen doesn't have a pantry. So what we do is we'll do a build-in pantry and our cabinet guy builds out for us so it, it looks the same. Everything flows in the kitchen. It's not us trying to custom build one with wood and paint it. It looks all crappy. We're going to actually let him build it. There's a lot more storage. And then we kept the washer and dryer inside. It's the only place we can do it. We did one in the garage. You no, guys, we don't want it in the garage ever. If you know anything about Florida too, it is hot in Florida. So for Florida, Women don't, they have two kids. Number one, they don't want to go in a hot garage. Number two, they don't want to be where they can't see their kids, right? You, if they go out there and do laundry and they got two little kids, we have a back porch with a high deck. That's probably what, 15 foot off the ground you can see. That's, that's one thing you want to always be. And critters, snakes, alligators, who knows? I don't think there's any snakes or flies. Snakes, yeah. Snakes, for sure. Alligator, no. Okay, talk about lighting, tell us. All right, we're which will be back further. Yep. So the pendants will kind of be here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what do we do for lighting here? Cam lights, that way they just disappear. So, okay. So cam lights, nothing's hanging down. It's already a small kitchen. We have already tried to open it up. Guys, it's, it's something as simple as if something's hanging out five to six inches, believe it or not, it takes space. It grabs your eye. We like the cam lights that hides it, but up there you don't see it. But obviously, Brandon, you'll go from this corner to this corner, measure it out, symmetrical, symmetrical dead center, boom, we're good to go. What about our island sauce? Will it expand? It will. We want for our stools. I don't want more than nine inches. Just get six to nine inches is what I was thinking. I'm fine. Maybe it's a little. Can we stick with like eight to nine? Okay. I feel like six is too tiny. I, I, and, and we did 12 inches at that one house was way too big. Anything over what, nine inches you're supposed to support underneath? I don't like that. I don't like the poor water underneath. I hit my knees on it and stuff. Corners are beautiful. But we're keeping this as a rental, okay? Yeah, so, we're going, so we're going a little different direction because we want this thing, we, well, move up, we want a tenant to move out in, in 10 years to sell it. We have to come in here and do minimal work, right? So, and. yes. <laughs> With that wall out, that's good though. So we probably would have room to do Oh, no. we're just trying to see if we can start the island on that line. or if I should start the countertop on that line. I think that the bar switch should be right here. The end of the countertop would be here. Really? So you're pushing it nine inches this way? Because that's coming in your kitchen making it feel smaller. So unless, unless, because remember with all this out, it's going to feel like a regular wall. Mm -hmm. So if you did push the island out a little bit. I don't want the island to this line to fire but if it came out here, the overhang. Okay. Because if the island in the back lined up with this wall here, and your nine inch overhang was here, I think that's more preventable, so I don't care if it Because then you're, you're not pushing it into the kitchen. What do you need? To be in line. A lot more than that. Yeah, but it'd be more because your cabinet ain't going to be 24 inches. Yeah. So we're good. Give us a good walkway. Okay. Alright, so we're good on the kitchen.